install the Qt PDF Writer, you go to this thing, click Free Download, right click, say Save File As, Save Link As. You can put it on the desktop, which I'm doing this in a Macintosh, but I can also you could do it in Windows as well. So it's cutewriter.exe. I'm going to save it. Clicking Save Now. My desktop, which I put on my desk of my Windows, I'm going to double click it to run the file and install it. Click Next. Click I accept the agreement. Click Next. Click. Um, you can read. And on this one, I don't want to have Ask be my default. And click Install. If it asks, do you need anything? Um, just click Yes. So I'm clicking yes on this one. And once it's installed, it tells you this. Read this information. Do not look for any application run. All you're going to do is open the document. So it's Microsoft Windows. Here's all the windows. And uh, this converter is automatically loaded because it saw you didn't have it. Or if you had, you don't need to worry about how to install it. This is just for printing your thing. So here I'm going to open a Word document, which will be nothing in it. Here's the Word document with nothing in it. I'm going to um, just put something in there. A lot of stuff about cute PDF. And I'm now going to print. This is how it automatically gets file, print. In your printer, I'm going to file cute PDF. See, cute PDF is here. Then I'm going to click uh, print. And now it's going to ask you. Um, and in this particular one, it tells me to install in follow, install the README converter. If it didn't do it, this is the converter you'll need. So I'm going to install that converter the same way I installed this one. So I'm going to save it to the desktop. Here's a convert. Here's a converter on the desktop. Double clicking it. I'm going to run setup and let it take all its uh, default setups. It, it'll tell you this. It's installed it'll disappear meaning it's done once it installs it'll print I'm gonna print it again file print show you the process cute PDF writer which I selected from here and click OK it's gonna ask me where I wanna save it I'll save it on the thing here and I'll say document one uh, and I'll put a bunch of X's so it'll be easy to find it's gonna put it on the desktop it should be done Here's a document right here. This document is now ready to go to the USPTO in the proper format. Qt PDF automatically does what the job option file does. You don't have to mess with that job option. So what Qt PDF is, is a, a virtual printer that prints to Adobe Acrobat in the format that the USPTO wants. Thanks and enjoy.